welcome to BGI Has Got Talent. This is our first show as Bedford Greenacre Independent School. So a really proud moment. We have had some fantastic applications this year. Um, sadly, we're not able to use everybody's because we did get so overwhelmed in the end. So we have sat and we've gone through and we have worked it down to the final 13. My name's Kate Gittins. I'm the drama teacher over here on the Shakespeare Road site. And we would like to share with you our first entry. So we have Grace, first of all. Fantastic. If you watch Grace, really beautiful, stunning ice skating. Over to you, Grace. Wasn't she amazing? We're going over now to a young lady doing some magic. And not only is her magic magic, but her confidence and her delivery and the way she engages with the audience is also superb. So over to you, Isabel. Hello, everyone. Hold on, I'll get to you in a minute. I'm just a bit thirsty. And that was Alicia. Why does this always happen to me? Um, seriously, that worked last time. Okay, got to do this. Seriously, oh, it's on. I thought it got out. Okay. Um. Pass. No. Okay. Um. Is that seriously? Um. Guys, what should I try? Maybe I should... <sighs> Seriously, guys, this is so annoying. Um, maybe... This is my last resort, okay? It worked! Yay! Now I can get onto the magic show with you guys. 
Now, I went to a fair last week or so, and I got these crayons, as you can see. They're pretty colourful, and I got this colouring book. The problem is, with the colouring book, I, don't, I lost all the crayons to colour with. As I was saying, this colouring book, I got it and I can't, and I don't have any pictures, as you can see, look. It's completely empty, but I think I have a spell to put coloured pictures in. Coloured pictures, not just regular pictures, coloured pictures. Abracadabra! Guys, do you think that worked? Let's try. Guys, that actually worked. Put that in. Now, guys, I'm going to do this here. I've got this blue handkerchief and this completely empty, if I can get it through, empty sack. And I think I can make a screen. Do you think so? Well, I'm going to try. Let's just put this is so hard to push in, guys. Okay, one time. Bibbity bobbity boo. Guys, think that one works. Hopefully. It's green, guys. We've done it. Let me just put that down. Now, guys, I've got a bag here. It's blue. As you can see, it's empty. Now, I think. What's that? Wait, I smell, smell something. What, what's that? Wait, huh? What's, where'd that come from? Put that there, I guess. As I was saying, I don't think anything's others in this. Uh, guys, I smell something again. Am I going mad? Um, um. Wait, another one. Where did they use? Where did these come from? As you see, it's still completely... What is that smell? What is that? I keep smelling random. Another one, guys. I, I don't even remember buying these. As you can see, it's completely empty. Nothing in it. I can't smell anything. It's completely fine. now guys so let me try this oreo <laughs> guys that was delicious let me put this in my bag wait i'm a bit peckish again let me do this now Guys, I'm now just going to clean up a little. Next up is um, a, a fairly new boy to the Shakespeare Road site and fantastic to learn that he has got this brilliant talent. I know a lot of the boys are quite interested in Rubik's Cubes and um, these puzzles at the moment, but Aeon takes it to the next level. So over to you, Aeon.
and something a bit different for you now. We are going onto the dance floor and we are going to be watching Demi do some Irish dancing. And this is the great thing about being out of lockdown is that people have actually been able to take their cameras and go off and record um, their, their different activities. So let's watch Demi, wonderful dancing. And next, we're over to Elizabeth. Elizabeth has artwork to share with us. She's put it all together and um, really demonstrated her really vibrant, colorful, creative painting here. Over to you, Elizabeth. Boy, wanna keep it cool But I know every time you move Got me frozen I get so shy, it's obvious yeah, yeah. Catching feels like that applies If I say what's on my mind What I hit bullseye Shoot, I'm ready, aim and fire Baby, I And now we go to Lily, and Lily is doing a beautiful contemporary dance.
gonna drown This is brave, this is bruised This is who I'm meant to be This is me And this is why the talent show really is, I think, a, a wonderful thing. We have had dancing, we have had ice skating, we have had Rubik's cubes, we've had magic. And now we're going over to somebody to do some face painting. So with her pumpkin face, let's go to Rosalia. And from pumpkins to football, here we go with Ali and his football tricks. Now, we saw this young man last year, and um, I think it's fair to say that his cooking skills haven't got any better. Maybe his costumes have, although last year's entry was hilarious. Here we go with Ollie and his dinosaur cooking. Next up is a young man whose memory recall is fantastic. Diane was in my tutor group for two years and he knew everybody's birthdays, everybody's date of birth. He can remember flags, he can remember capital cities. He has a, a fantastic memory. Let's see Diane and uh, 
being asked questions by his father. Over to you, Diane, you whiz kid. Hello, this is Diana Dill. I'm going to ask all the capital cities of Europe. I'm going to answer it. Okay, so what's the capital of England? Capital of England is London. Capital of Wales? Cardiff. Capital of Scotland? Edinburgh. Capital of Northern Ireland? Belfast. Capital of Republic of Ireland? Dublin. Capital of France? Paris. Capital of Belgium? Brussels. Capital of Netherlands? Amsterdam. Capital of Spain? Madrid. Capital of Portugal? Lisbon. Capital of Iceland? Reykjavik. Capital of Faroe Islands? Toshavan. Capital of Luxembourg? Luxembourg. Capital of Germany? Berlin. Capital of Italy? Rome. Capital of Denmark? Copenhagen. Capital of Switzerland? Capital of Switzerland is yeah. Bern. Capital of Austria? Capital of Austria is Vienna. Capital of Czech Republic? Prague. Capital of Poland? Warsaw. Capital of Norway? Norway is Oslo. Capital of Sweden? Capital of Sweden is Stockholm. Capital of Finland? The capital of Finland is Helsinki. Capital of Hungary? Budapest. Capital of Slovakia? Slovakia is Bratislava. Capital of Slovenia? Slovenia is Ljubljana. Capital of Belarus? Capital of Belarus is Minsk. Capital of Ukraine? Capital of Ukraine is Kiev. Capital of Lithuania? Capital of Lithuania is Vilnius. Capital of Latvia? Capital of Latvia is Riga. Capital of Estonia? Capital of Estonia is Tallinn. Capital of Romania? Capital of Romania is Bucharest. Capital of North Macedonia? Capital of North Macedonia is Skopje. Capital of Kosovo? Capital of Kosovo is Pristina. Capital of Moldova? Capital of Moldova is Chisinau. Capital of Andorra? Capital of Andorra is Andorra La Villa. Capital of Greece? Capital of Greece is Athens. Capital of Vatican City? Capital of Vatican City is Vatican City. Capital of San Marino? Capital of San Marino is San Marino. Capital of Armenia? Capital of Armenia is Yerevan. Capital of Montenegro? Capital of Montenegro is Podgorica. Capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina is Sarajevo. Capital of Bulgaria. Capital of Bulgaria is Sofia. Capital of Turkey. Capital of Turkey is Ankara. Capital of Serbia. Capital of Serbia is Belgrade. Capital of Croatia. Capital of Croatia is Zagreb. Capital of Azerbaijan. Capital of Azerbaijan is Baku. Capital of Albania. Capital of Albania is Tirana. Capital of Georgia. Capital of Georgia is Tbilisi. Capital of Russia. Capital of Russia is Moscow. Capital of Cyprus. Capital of Cyprus is Nicosia. Capital of Liechtenstein. Capital of Liechtenstein is Vaduz. Capital of Malta. Capital of Malta is Valletta. Capital of Monaco. Capital of Monaco is Monte Carlo. Okay. And next up, it's Will. And Will is showing off his cookery skills. He doesn't need a dinosaur suit. He is showing us how to make pancakes. And this is something you might like to try at home. Over to you, Will. Hello and welcome to Will's Making Pancake Show. I'm Will McHugh and, and we're going to make pancakes. So, we need two eggs, some plain flour, and some milk. So, I'm going to prep my eggs first. We need to whisk the eggs. We need to whisk it for like, I would say, two to five minutes.
well. But make sure the bottom, you can't see the bottom. And don't worry if you find some lumps in there, that's completely normal. So if you find a really spoon top to the edges. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Hello! Okay, now we're going to cut the blankets. So, so, um, so, de definitely ask the grown up to make the edges. So now we go to the mix It takes a little bit long. If it goes up, it's fine. But mine's going up. So ask somebody to uh, like an adult to flip it because even I can't flip it and I've been making pancakes for years. Oh well, I could try, yeah. Oh I'll try. When you flip it over, this is probably what it look like. So it might look a little bit good, but that's how but if you don't know that's how pancakes are supposed to be. But make sure then it's not full of black. I'm not getting up here, just get ready. I should probably move it. I should probably move it because that is a joint in the So I'm going to move the pitch. And now we have Sarah, and Sarah is showing us her gymnastic skills. Again, she's managed to film this um, out, out of home and showing us what she gets up to at her gymnastics club. Great work, Sarah. Hi, my name is Sarah Griffiths. I'm in year five. I'm entering the talent show with my gymnastics. Good luck, everyone. Go. And finally, a young man who has the most amazing electric guitar skills. Finishing the show today, it's Woody.
That's our finalists of this year's BGI. And we would like to thank everybody for taking part. We had some superb entries and everybody who entered should be really proud of themselves. And we did have to cut it down because we were just quite overwhelmed with, with the response in the end. So well done to our 13 finalists and well done to everybody who did send us an entry. We look forward to receiving your votes. If you click on the link below, you can vote for your favourite. We will see you next time for another Bedford Greenacres Got Talent. Goodbye.